all right folks hopefully it's not too windy but how's it going welcome back to the average garage today's episode is a little bittersweet um yeah this is the last couple of days of ownership of the Pajero sport so it's officially sold um yeah i don't know it's been a good journey i wanted to do a lot more to it but circumstances have changed there's bigger things in the works um so yeah it's time to move on it's time to let it go yeah i don't know mixed emotions kind of glad to see it go but also don't want to see it go but it's got to go so it's already sold it's too late now anyways but um yeah i couldn't think of a better way to sort of uh do a video on the end of the pajero and explain what i loved and hated about it um then by the sunset because the sun's setting at the moment right so i thought i'd discuss some of the best things and worst things about the pajero sport and uh yeah what better time to do it than while the sun's setting so I absolutely love this car. It has been an absolute workhorse. It's done everything I've asked it to do. It is super capable off-road. Um, it's There's not much to let them down, honestly. The biggest issues are the intercooler hoses, which 200 bucks or whatever they're worth um, fixes that issue. Now, for those who are contemplating buying one, if you're watching this video, I wouldn't recommend them for towing. Um, if you're towing maybe up to about two and a half ton, I would consider it but anything more than two and a half i just i wouldn't bother they they can tow 3.1 but it doesn't mean they do it comfortably a lot of people on the pages will say yeah i've towed 3.1 or whatever all day every day but it's a 2.4 liter highly strung engine um they're just not built for towing but uh it's done everything i've asked of it it's never let me down i think i've been stuck a total amount of times of once or twice um and that was usually doing something pretty dumb it's been an absolute pleasure to drive. It's comfortable. It doesn't make horrible noises. Um, I really have no proper complaints about this car at all. It's just beautiful. The only thing that I would change personally is if I was gonna do it all again, I might get the Exceed and only, or a newer model. Um, and that's mainly for the forward collision mitigation and active cruise control. I wish this had active cruise control because on long drives it can get a bit tedious when there's cars going faster and slower and if you're in Perth like me you'll know that every second road is completely full of roadworks so you're always fluctuating between speeds and it gets really annoying um, but yeah it's bloody been a champ so it will be sadly missed uh, there are no other cars in the pipeline just yet um, I say that with a bit of hesitation because there is, I have my eye on a few, but they're not going to be of this caliber. They're not going to be expensive cars. They're going to be absolute buckets or um, nuggets, as one might say. But um, yeah, I don't know. It is what it is. Uh, there, re there will be more to come in the future, but for now, this is the end of this chapter. The channel will still continue. I've got plenty to do to the Falcon. I've just got to get it back. Sound like a broken record with that thing. Um, so yeah, if you're new to the channel, check out the Falcon. That's pretty cool. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much for supporting me the whole time I've had this thing and just throughout everything in general. I really appreciate everybody's love and support. Um, if you're that one absolute flog that says, oh, well, I'm going to unsubscribe because you've sold your car. I don't want you hanging around anyways, so do, do us all a favour and bugger off. Um, <laughs> Mark, you know exactly who I'm on about, and Brett. But yeah, it's a, it's a bittersweet moment. I probably won't get another four-wheel drive for quite a while, but there is potential now for any four-wheel drive content, content that I do um, put on the channel should be a higher quality, because a big challenge with putting four-wheel drive content up is uh, being a one-man band essentially I'm usually filming and driving um, trying to mix the two is very difficult so a lot of the previous videos I have of full drive content is pretty much um, very little of my car and me and usually a lot of other cars which 
there's not a terrible thing, but you know, I'd like my car to have a bit of exposure as well. So usually it's patrols and stuff, but uh, it means if I do go out on trips with other people, I can focus a lot more on filming and putting out better four wheel drive content, which I plan to do soon. Um, it's just a matter of everything lining up. I'm a very busy boy, but uh, yeah. Anyways, it's a quick uh, sort of, I don't know, introduction to what the next part of the chapter is gonna be. So anyways, that's Bon Voyage to the Pajero Sport. Um, it will be dearly missed, but let's put some B-roll up for you guys and uh, let's enjoy what this thing was and what it can continue to be for somebody else. And uh, we'll see you all in the next episode. Cheers.